Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. In this video, I want to show you exactly how I get proper PLA bed adhesion on my 3D printer without using special surfaces, heated beds, blue tape or anything like that. And with my method here, you're going to have such a strong print adhesion that the hardest part is actually getting the prints off the bed. All you're going to need to do this is a sheet of paper or a 0.18 millimeter precision feeler gauge. I prefer to use the feeler gauge just because when you're trying to deal with something as important as precision bed leveling, I don't feel comfortable relying on a sheet of paper where the manufacturing inconsistencies will lead to varying results and also it's soft so the nozzle will deform it while you're leveling and it just goes all over the place from there. The next thing you'll need is a glue stick. I'm just using Uhu Magic Stick. You'll need a clean sponge and some water and a glass print surface. I'm just using a mirror from Ikea. So the first thing we need to do is level our bed on a clean glass. Mine was already covered in glue so I'll just demonstrate. This is pretty simple. Just take the feeler gauge, insert it under the nozzle and turn the knobs under your print bed until it touches the feeler gauge. Slip the gauge out from under and proceed to the next corner. I do this whole process twice, that means each corner is leveled two times in total. Then we're going to prepare our print surface. Grab your glass print bed and Uhu glue stick. Proceed to liberally apply it in a uniform pattern. I start by doing horizontal lines top to bottom, then I do vertical lines, then diagonal lines, and finally I do opposing diagonal lines. This takes a grand total of about 30 seconds. Once you have a nice and even coating of glue stick on the print bed, take your sponge and dip it into some water, then just lightly tap all over the bed. Glue stick has this lovely property of being cleanable with water. This means that when kids get it everywhere, you can clean it up easily. What we're actually doing with the sponge and water is diluting the glue that's on the surface and spreading it more evenly. Tapping with the sponge is a bit like sponge painting though. What we're actually doing here is leaving behind a rough surface that will dramatically increase the surface area that the plastic has to grip to, resulting in stronger adhesion. As the water starts to dry off and the glue begins to dry, I give it a final wipe in every direction just to keep the surface flat, even and soak up any lingering water that remains on the bed. Allow the glass to dry completely before using it in your printer. When this is done, it should look something like this. Now let's get a print started and take a look at our amazing adhesion. This surface lasts me about 5 to 10 prints. After that you can just take a moist sponge and start to tap over the existing surface to repair. In total you should get about a month solid of printing without having to redo this process. Well let me know what you think in the comment section below. I really appreciate your feedback on these videos and love to hear from you all. I hope you've enjoyed this video, take care and bye for now.